हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एक्सेस एप्लीकेशन कैपस्टोन प्रोजेक्ट्स वन सिमनेट सो एक्सेस एप्लीकेशन कैपस्टोन प्रोजेक्ट वन एंड इन प्रैक्टिस एक्सेस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एप्लीकेशन कैपस्टोन प्रोजेक्ट्स वन सो इफ यू वांट टू कंप्लीट सेम प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड सिमनेट प्रोजेक्ट्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेस we can do online courses is accounting math stat finance economics writing and other courses so i will guarantee you are 90 or 95 plus grade your assignments and your exam so we move to the main project step so step number 1 is open the magnificent meal access open database so open the access file so i have already downloaded the access file and enable content to database and open the meal table in the data sheet view verify that table do not contain any record and switch to the design view to the edits so open the meal meal table data sheet view open the meal table in the data sheet view right clicks and click the and design view to right click and click the data sheet view open the data sheet view and verify that table does not contain any record switch the design view to edit the file properties so it did not show the any records and right click and click the design view so design view is edit the field and change the data types of the date edits to menu field to dates time and select the a short disk format the date edit to menu fields and the property updates option smart tags and display when you leave this property so select the data types to date edit to menu data type is date edit to menu date added to menu and select the data types so select the data types to date time data type is to the date times so select the date and time and next is select the c column c select short date format the date added to menu the property option and smart the leave property so select the short date formats date added to menu select the formats and format is short dates to add to menu fields select the short dates added to menu fields and next is the property update option smart to display when you have to leave this property and update the option smart leave this property so select the arrows and click the update every updated to menu is used and click the yes over to list option and select the updates and click the yes update this dialog box and next is make the last eight eight fields to the saving size through date added to menu to records the other field already had this property set the correctly so make the last eight fields records in in the text is saving size and sorry serving size so select the Uh, serving size is serving size to date added it to menu and required so select the required to yes required to yes and next is colories next is colories to required is yes so select the requires 
and select the yes and next is total flats sorry total fats is required is yes required is yes and next is sodium sodium fill and required is to yes and next and required is to yes so select the yes and total carb is yes to required to click the yes and protein is to yes select the yes and next is date added to menu to required is to yes the other is yes and next is create the lookups click the row selected to the meal types so select the uh, meal types and uh, select the meal types and click the row select to the meal files and type the field size to the meal type is 20 so field size to 20 is the meal types so select the field size to type the 20 press enter and next is select the lookup tabs select the lookup tab and uh, select the row source type property value list the property updates smarts and display you leave the property ignore smart stacks you will to make the other two changes so select the row sources type the property value type the property value and under the type the property value to the update the tags and main courses and row sources property update the option and set the limit to yes and so select the mail type and the meal types and select the meal types short text and go to the local visitors and click the next so column one is main courses is copy the and main course and next is set dash paste and next is soup copy the soup and paste the soup and next is deserts so copy the deserts and paste the deserts and row sources property ignore the property update option to smart stacks and set the limit to list so click the next and click the limit to list and click a finish next is save the files and import the data from the excel into the meal tables and launch to the get external data Excel spreadsheets and dialog box and locate the locate and select the menu data XLS. Click OK and launch the import spreadsheet visit and finish the import spreadsheets. Close the visits to the records we have reported with the without saving this import the steps. So right click click the save and close the design view and next is get the external data to the excel spreadsheet dialog box and 
locate the select the menu dates access and append to the records to the meal tables click ok so go to the external data tabs and click the new data source and click the from excel get external to the excel excel spreadsheet dialog box click the browse and go to the file is main data main menu main menu data is click the main menu data and click open and next is append the record to the meal table so select the append to copy the records is meal table so select the meal table and next is meal tables get the menu data xls and append the records to the meal table and click ok import the spreadsheet and visit it so click the ok and next is finish the import spreadsheets visitors and choose close the app visit after the records have import the without the saving the import steps and open the open the meal table to the data sheet view and view table should contain the 16 record so click the next and click the finish click the close and next is open the meal table data sheet view you will able to the 16 records so open the data sheet view and 16 records so display the 16 records and next is question number 6 is change the layout of the meal tables and change the font size to the 12 center alignments the menu field and auto fit the adjust meal name field to the records and save save the records so change the layout of the meal tables go to the select the right click and click the sorry uh, right click and go to the layout view right click and click the meal tables change the layout of the meal tables so select the all tables and font size to the 12 so go to the home tabs and go to the font groups and font size to 12 and next is center aligns the menu id fields so select the menu id fields and center the menu id field so go to the home tabs and go to the number group and click the text format and click the centers and next is use the auto fits to adjust the meal name field to the correct size select the meal name fields meal name field and auto fit the meal name field to the correct size so apply the auto fit color in meal name and save and close the table so right click click the save and close the table so if you want to complete assignments or exam you can contact on my whatsapp link and email if you want to complete my telab courses is microsoft excel microsoft word microsoft powerpoint and microsoft access and if you want to complete same projects and similar projects microsoft excel microsoft word microsoft powerpoint and microsoft access we can do online courses in accounting, math, stat, finance, economics, writing and other courses. So I will guarantee you are 90 or 95 plus grades, your assignments and your exam.